In this video we look at how to multiply polynomials. Now there are different ways in which we can multiply polynomials and if you have one that you prefer, well fine, go with that. But uh, this is a good approach and I do urge you to learn it. In this approach what we do is apply the distributive law repeatedly. So we start with 3x squared in this case and multiply 3x squared by this entire expression. Then we multiply minus 5x by this entire expression. Then we multiply plus 7 by this entire expression. So again, it's 3x squared times this entire polynomial. Then minus 5x times this entire polynomial. Then 7 times this entire polynomial. 3x squared times this entire polynomial. So we go 3x squared times 8x cubed gives us 24x to the fifth. 3 times 8, 24. 2 plus 3, 5. Then we go 3x squared times 4x. That gives us 12x cubed. And then 3x squared times a minus 5 gives us minus 15x squared. Now minus 5x times this entire polynomial. Minus 5x times 8x cubed gives us minus 40x to the 4th power. 3 plus 1, 4. Then minus 5x times 4x gives us 20x squared. And then minus 5x times a minus 5 gives us a plus 25x. And finally we have 7 times this entire polynomial. So that's 7 times 8x cubed gives us 56x cubed. Then 7 times 4x gives us 28x. And then 7 times a minus 5 gives us, of course, minus 35. All then that's left to do is simplify this expression. So we end up with 24x to the fifth. And then minus 40x to the fourth. And then 12 and 56 gives us 68x cubed. And then minus 15 and a minus 20x squared gives us minus 35x squared. And then 25x and 28x gives us 53x. And we're left with minus 35. Okay, so let's take a deeper look at this now. I said initially that the technique we use is based on the distributive law. So let's review the distributive law with this very simple example here. 3 times 4 plus 7 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 3 times 7. So it's 3 times 4 plus 3 times 7. If we come down this track, we see this gives us 12 plus 21, which gives us 33. Of course, if we add 7 and 4 first, we get 11, and then 3 times 11 gives us 33 also. So far, so good, I hope. Let's do it again, only this time using variables. So we have a times this expression in parentheses, b plus c. This gives us a times b plus a times c. Let's do this very same problem, but slightly differently. Instead of having a times this expression, we have this expression times a, which is the same thing because, remember, multiplication is commutative. So 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. Only now, this becomes b times a plus c times a. You could, if you want, say a times b plus a times c. But I want to do it this way for a reason you'll see shortly. So this becomes b times a plus c times a. b times a is the same as a times b. Remember, multiplication is commutative. c times a is the same as a times c. So this approach is what we're going to apply as we multiply polynomials. Here's a little example. We have x plus 4 times 2x minus 6. Now let's make a substitution. This 2x minus 6, let's just say it's some a. So that gives us x times a, as we did just now, plus 4 times a. We could say a times x plus a times 4, but I think this way is better. Then we just need to remember that this a is actually 2x minus 6. So what we're doing is saying x times all of this, which is what we did at the beginning, plus 4 times all of this. So I hope you see now clearly that what we're doing is applying 
the distributive law repeatedly. And continuing, x times 2x gives us 2x squared, x times a minus x gives us a minus 6x, 4 times 2x, 8x, 4 times a minus 6, minus 24. And then simplifying, 2x squared plus 2x minus 24. In this final example, we're going to multiply this expression by this one. So we start with 3x squared. 3x squared times 7x squared gives us 21x to the fourth. 3x squared times 5x gives us 15x cubed. 3x squared times a minus 1 gives us a minus 3x squared. Then minus 8 times all of this. Minus 8 times 7x squared gives us minus 56x squared. Minus 8 times 5x gives us minus 40x. Minus 8 times a minus 1 gives us plus 8. And then we simplify. 21x to the fourth, 15x cubed, minus 3x squared, minus 56x squared, minus 59x squared, minus 40x plus 8. So that's it. I hope you understand now how to multiply polynomials. Okay, so that's it for now.